Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to the Ladies of Horror Fiction Awards 2021. I did this uh, last year for 2020. Uh, Jen from Ladies of Horror Fiction was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I want to do the announcements again. And so here we are. Let's jump right into the nominees and the winners. So up first we have Best Collection. Uh, the nominees are Bluebeard's First Wife by Ha Seong Nan. Halloween Season by Lucy A. Snyder, All That's Fair by S.H. Cooper, Lucid Screams by Red Lego, and Said the Sangre, I hope I said that right, by V. Castro. And the winner is All That's Fair by S.H. Cooper. Congratulations on your win. And next up, we have Best Debut. Uh, some really, really good books on this list. Um, one of them that I've read, two that are on my TBR already, and all of this stuff is going on my TBR, uh, just to let you know, because the Ladies of Horror, Fi Horror Fiction pick some fantastic, fantastic books. Um, so, Best Debut, here are the nominees. Uh, Beneath the Rising by Primi Muhammad, The Year of Witching by Alexis Henderson, Catherine House, by Elizabeth Thomas, which is on my TBR. Um, Fairest Flesh by K.P. Kulski. Lakewood by Megan Giddings, which I've already read and reviewed on the channel and on Goodreads, I believe. Um, and The Return by Rachel Harrison. And the winner is... The Year of Witching by Alexis Henderson. Congratulations on your win! Next up, we have Best Graphic Novel. Starting with the nominees, Devil Within by Stephanie Phillips, art by Man House, The Low Low Woods by Carmen Maria Machado, uh, art by Danny, Dracula, motherfucker, I'm sorry I'm laughing, I, I, I've read this list three times, every time I read this title I laugh, Dracula, motherfucker, by Alex DeCampi, art by Erica Henderson, Monstrous, volume five, by Marjorie M. Liu, Art by Sana Takeda. Uh, I hope I said that name right. Uh, just, I, if I didn't, I apologize. Um, so the best graphic novel goes to The Low Low Woods by Carmen Maria Machado. Congratulations! I'm definitely going to check this one out. Th this one, The Low Low Woods, uh, it, and it's going to be soon, too. Like I said, I plan on getting to all these things, but this one especially looks good. Next up, we have The Best Poetry Collection. And here are your nominees. A Complex Accident of Life by Jessica McHugh. Burials by Jessica Drake Thomas. A Collection of Dreamscapes by Christina Singh. Cradle Land of Parasites by Sarah Tantlinger. Tantlinger or Tantlinger? I'm not sure. Um, I need to check into that um, because me and Sarah are friends on Twitter. Or at least we follow each other. Um, Into the Forest and All the Way Through by Cynthia Paleo. And the winner is A Complex Accident of Life by Jessica McHugh. Congratulations on your win. Next up, we have Best Middle Grade. And your nominees are Crater Lake by Jennifer Killick. Ghost Squad by Clarabelle A. Ortega. The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah Alcaf. Hide and Seeker by Daka Herman. The Stitchers by Lorian Lawrence. I've never heard of The Stitchers, but uh, that just that title alone is going to to my interest. Thirteens by Kate Alice Marshall. And the winner is Hide and Seeker by Daka Herman. Congratulations on your win. Now we're going to skip around a little bit because I want to say best novel for the end. So now we're going to talk about best novella. And your nominee, your nominees, nominees, your nominees are <laughs> The Bell Chime by Mona Cabani, Beneath a Bethel, April Jane Rowan, Cirque Berserk by uh, Jessica Guest. Hey, Jessica. Uh, Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. Hi, Laurel. Uh, he's a bunch of people I know. Uh, the Invention of Ghost by Gwendolyn Kist. And The Worm and His Kings by Haley Piper. So many good books. So many good books up for this one. Uh, but your winner, there, has, there, can, there can be only one. And the winner is The Bell Chime by Mona Cabani. Congratulations. 
And next up, we have Best Short Fiction. This one's going to take a, a hot minute. There's a lot to read here. Uh, there's quite a few uh, nominees, and we uh, also have to talk about the winner. So, uh, let's see here. We have Carrig, the story Carrig Samson by Catherine uh, McCarthy, Diabolica Britannica, A Dark Isles Horror Compendium. Uh, the next nominee is The Clockmaker by Sonora Taylor. Hi, Sonora. Another friend of mine. Graveyard Smash, Women of Horror Anthology, Volume 2. Um, the Cuckoo of Cancun. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I probably still got it wrong. I looked up the, the pronunciation, but I, my brain... My memory is bad. I'm sorry. Um, by V. Castro. Worst Laid Plans, an anthology of vacation horror. Uh, let's see, The Curse of She, Part 6, that's a very interesting title, uh, by Haley Piper, uh, Heart Music by Lee Murray, um, Grotesque Monster Stories, Holes by R.A. Busby, Graveyard Smash, Women of Horror Anthology, Volume 2, um, A Key for Any Lock by S.H. Cooper uh, in We Are Wolves, um, so, did I say that The Curse of She... Part 6 by Haley Piper was We Are Wolves. If not, I apologize. Um, and then Unkindly Girls uh, by Haley Piper. Haley's on here twice. Uh, Unkindly Girls, Haley Piper. She deserves to be. Uh, Worst Laid Plans, uh, an anthology of vacation horror. And your winner is Haley Piper for Unkindly Girls. Congratulations, Haley. And finally, drum roll, please. I hope he adds that after post. Your nominees for Best Novel. The Ladies of Horror Fiction Awards 2021 are Betty by Tiffany McDaniels. I am so glad that this book is on this list because 100% it should be in the horror category. Um, yes, even with the colorful color cover and everything, I, I know it just looks like contemporary fiction. It's a horror novel. Um, the Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher, which is on my TBR. Uh, Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Marino Garcia. Uh, Salt Blood by T.C. Parker. I've reviewed that on the channel already. It's absolutely fantastic. In fact, the book is so good that I went out and asked uh, T.C. if they would write with me. And we have, current, we have currently finished one collab and plan to be working on more in the future. And then The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. Yet another one on my TBR. Uh, and then Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Basterica. Basterica. I'm, I'm sorry. I, if I'm getting this wrong, I apologize. Um, I have a problem with a lot of pronunciations. Um, but uh, And Matt, my buddy Max Stark even told me how to pronounce it last time. And I'm still, I don't think I'm saying it right. So like I said, I apologize. But the winner is Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Basterica. Um, this... I, I, fu I fully believe that this one should have won. And yes, one of my friends is on the nominees list. And I still fully agree with that being the winner. It was one of the more uh, disturbing pieces of the year. And I'm so glad that not only was it nominated, but that it won. So that's it for the 2021 Ladies of Horror Fiction Awards, again, I highly recommend you, if you're looking for good books, especially uh, good horror books, especially good horror books written by women, or if you just want to expand um, and read more women, I highly suggest you do. I, I have good reasons for this. Um, I'm planning on doing a video about it uh, coming up here shortly. So that's it. That's the 2021 Ladies of Horror Fiction Awards. Thank you for joining me. Congratulations to every single one of the winners. So, so happy to see so many great books uh, nominated and winning. It was an absolute joy to do this video. So many thanks to Ladies of Horror Fiction and Jen, Tracy, all, all of you. There, there's so many of you. You're doing great work. Um, and I can't wait until next year to see what you guys pick. You're, you're, you're doing great work. But also, if you guys are looking to broaden your horizons, definitely check out Ladies of Horror Fiction down there in the doobly-doo in the description. And check out all of their links. Follow them on Twitter. Check out their website. All that good stuff. But until next time, I have been E. 
You have been you. This has been another awards announcement. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.